What's up, everybody? Today's Tuesday, and let's hope I don't break shit today. What's up, everybody? Today's Tuesday, July 6th, July 7th, Tuesday, July 7th. Uh, just came off of 4th of July weekend. Pretty good, pretty good. I, this is my first day back. It's a Tuesday. I had Monday off, and boy, I'm tired. I don't even like taking days off, because when I take a day off, the next day I just feel completely like lazy as crap. Let me know in the comment section if you guys do the same thing. If you just take a whole day off and the next the next day you just feel like, man, it's just tired. Because I just feel like crap right now. But hey, gotta do what you gotta do. So today, got a couple of calls. It's the second week of summer. So of course, it's just a jam-packed week. week. Um, last week was crazy. Probably did the most houses I did in, since I started. Um, didn't even have time to record. That's how busy it was. Today's even a jam I think I got like five houses, a couple of maintenance, and some service calls. Um, it's cloudy outside. It looks like it just rained, as you can see on the, the windows. It's pretty, um, got some wet spots on the bed. I looked at the forecast, and it, it says it shouldn't rain today. But who knows? It's Georgia weather so weird. I mean, it can it can be, literally be about 95 degrees in the next two hours, and you just want to know it. Um, but, yeah, so we got a couple of houses today. Um, go check them out. See if we can find problems. If we don't find problems, if we just break problems or make problems. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check out the first house. See you there. First house in the middle of it. It's a two system. Everything checked out pretty good. It's a heat pump. Uh, check the microphones. Passenger. Seems like it's pretty good. So we at the next house. And it's a carrier. Yeah, buddy. Gotta love it. This looks pretty new. 2017. Not that old. This is weird. This is the first house I've ever been to with the condensation line. It's actually metal. Like it's just straight like metal. I don't even know how you hook my own. Um, Drinks like wrong to that. Um, customer said he has some problems with the vents leaking order, which only happens when something's clogged, of course. Um, I checked the drain line in the attic. It wasn't really, it wasn't clogged. It was pretty clear. Um, but his filter was pretty dirty. So I, I suggest he probably wants to change those filters. Um, that's probably what caused that line to be. Well, what caused the vent to clog and this water leaking out because that filter probably hasn't been changed in like a year or two. Um, he said he just moved back in this house. It was rented out. So I'm guessing whoever owned it, well not owned it, but whoever was renting it out just never, just never really changed the filters because I mean, some people just don't like to change filters. I don't know why. I'm letting you pass so I don't got bad knees on the deal that. see you there just on a little break mini break sack break um yeah so i'll finish up those first two houses just feel like just to say what's up to you guys and tell you guys you know thanks for everything you guys have been doing for supporting <coughs> oh shit <coughs> please don't be corona 
Um, but anyways, yeah, thank you guys for, um, you know, everything subscribing and liking and commenting. Um, this, this nothing, 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 you know, taking anything for granted. But thanks for everybody that's been doing it. Uh, just a channel update. Uh, I know I haven't released like a crawl space uh, vlog yet. Because the crazy thing is I haven't even been in a crawl space since probably, I think my last time I was in a crawl space was in June 18th. June 18th was the last time I was in a crawl space. And that was probably, it's July like seventh now so that's that's almost about to be almost a month so that's why i really hasn't been posting no cross base uh haven't been posting no service trips probably you probably just because it just be hot i just be mad and just don't want to do it um but yeah thanks everybody bye for subscribing and liking if you haven't subscribed or like yet you know just subscribe now you know you might as well since you're here all right we're at the next house that's a nice one. It's quiet. It's a hill. Got the nail and pad. Throw that bad boy down. Oh, uh, we got here a Linux. Linux 2015-14A. Standard air conditioner unit. Scott said he hasn't really had no problems with it. Any of them, the bubble works pretty good. So that's good. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. It's just started, it stopped raining. So, probably gonna hurry up before that thunderstorm I was talking about earlier catch up. Uh, it was, it, as you can see, it's wet out here. So, it was sprinkling while it was inside. surprised if it has a hard start kit on it. Let's see if it has a hard start kit on it. Man, this thing is pretty quiet. Oh, I changed my big piece. There we go. Ah. Oh, 
dusty. My gauge is up. That'd be the first thing I do. Okay, that doesn't want to come loose. So that's basically what lets me think this refrigerant, everything is working. It just ain't getting cold in the house. So it just lets me know it's right going to be low on refrigerant. Or I have like a bad contactor. But also, it could just be some restriction somewhere. Oh, I can't hook those up. Let's see if I can get it. Can I get the whip out? Nope, I turned it off. So, after I finally got them gauges on, I realized the pressures were pretty good. Um, so, it basically let me know it has refrigerant in it. So, I basically checked the capacitor, and the capacitor was bad. Um, I checked it two times, two different ways. Got this app that tells me basically. Because that spit replacement recommended, and also I used them for my meter, and it was again 35 microfarads where I was supposed to go. So I have a capacitor right here. So we're gonna install that and see what that can do for the unit. Hopefully, that can help it move, move around for it. So that basically helped it out. If we had a problem, the high side pressure was too high. That number right there was about 350, which is supposed to, supposed to never be 350. So, uh, basically what I did was wash it. All the hose. Wash it off and it was pretty dirty. As you can see all the mud and coughed up stuff at the bottom. So that's why I kind of tell people to, you know, wash their... We wash your ACs. Just dirt it can just build up and just make your your system run so much. It gets real hot. So that's basically it. This is a new capacitor. Pressure seems to be going back to normal. I'm just sit here and wait a while. And hopefully nothing goes wrong. And I'll be right back with you guys. So yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Pretty easy day. Four houses. It was supposed to be five, but one got canceled. That's because the rain. Even though it didn't rain, like I said, it's crazy. Thunderstorms, but guess what? Guess what degrees it is outside right now? 86. And it was thunderstorming earlier this morning. So, yeah. So, that's basically it for today. Four houses. Three maintenance. One service call. Guy, that the lady just had a bad capacitor. Changed that out, but of course... That unit was pretty dirty. Like, it had dirt built up. Basically, how I show you all how I wash them off when the dirt builds up. Basically, it was like three times the amount of that. It was just so dirty that the compressor was working so hard. So, I had to wash it off for like a probably five minutes. And that probably brought, that brought it all down. So, it was good on that. Um, not really much more to say. Like, I, once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you like subscribe if you enjoy anything and want to see some more and yeah i ain't breaking nothing today so that's really good it's hot and sweaty and i got hit by mosquitoes like 50 times so i'm about to start itching so i need to hurry up and get in the shower but yeah thank you guys for watching and peace